Hi everyone, Libby here. Today I'm going to do a video about organising for travel or planning for travel. What do you want to call it? Anyway, basically I'm going to talk about how I go about keeping keeping my plans organised. <laughs> That's what I'm going to talk to you about. So, um, those of you who have known me um, or my blog, follow me for a while, you know that we do do quite a lot of travelling. So I do consider myself a reasonable expert at planning trips because that's what I like to do. In another life I would think I'd make a great travel um, agent because of travel consultant because I do love planning a holiday. <laughs> my husband always jokes that I'm never happier than I, when I'm planning a holiday, I'm planning our next trip and it's, I guess yeah to me planning is a big part of the, the fun of a trip. I love the trip itself but the planning is also a lot of fun for me. I, um, so anyway, I will try to keep it focused here. So basically, once I've determined where we're going, and I actually have a 10 year plan of sort of a big overseas trips anyway. Um, so once I know where we're going and when we're going, and once I start, probably usually the first thing we would book would be our, um, usually international flight, but certainly once we decide our dates, and I'm starting to do reading online or in a real book or whatever, there's two things that I that I like to do. One is I will get a notebook, any kind of notebook. This is the one I'm currently using for our upcoming Disney World trip, but it can be any size. I've used this one as well. So any sort of size notebook, any style of notebook, something that you like. Um, one thing, so most of the information is going to go. And then I also get a file like that that can be sealed, nothing's going to fall out of to put um, printouts of information so when we make our flight and we've got our um, our flight, they're not tickets anymore, are they just our flight documentation, our e-ticket, that'll go in there, anything that I'm printing out that I sort of want to keep would go into the folder. So that is the two sort of things that I use to organise a trip traditionally. This next trip, I think I'm going to do a Disney World planning trip as well. So I'll I'll just, in, this would be for a general trip, what I would have. I do also do things online too now, um, even for our UK trip I did, so I will talk about that as well. Now unfortunately, I know I haven't thrown out all my old, old records from our other trips, but I can't find any of it. Um, <laughs> I, got, I found a few things, but I couldn't actually find what I wanted. Even for our UK trip, I knew I had an itemised itinerary kind of thing. can't find it. I, so I don't know where it's hiding somewhere in the house. So I know as soon as I do this video, I will find it. But I didn't want to delay. A few people waiting on this video had asked for one. So I thought, now while I'm in the midst of a trip, would be a good time to do it. So that's what I do. So basically, once I get my little notebook set up, I'll start to um, sort of do a plan, rough plan of what we're sort of doing. So each day, I'll write down the days. But then basically, I haven't actually tabbed this one, but often I'll put sort of tabs in them, and that's what a more organised person would do. They would have tabs <laughs> to divide it up. And But any little notes, like when I was looking at different places to stay, I wrote down different prices. Um, as you can see, we scored a bargain from some of the places we're looking at. I'm paying under $100 a night now, where we're going. So, yeah, so again, this is where we are staying. So I've made notes as different buildings apparently so I started to make notes on what the different buildings have to offer with the Christmas party date so just there's no real um besides like I've got a Disney World section and then somewhere in here and there's a universal section and then somewhere back here is the cruise section and then at the back I've got sort of some initial budgeting things but that's all changed so basically anything that I, I, that I don't want to lose track of, I think I need to remember, because I do a lot of reading um, online, a lot of forum, read, read a lot of forums, um, and it's my trip advisor, so I'll look on that, so just general, anything I'm reading, I think you must remember that, it goes into my little book, it's like a little travel bible, I guess, for, for, for whichever trip. Now, what did I find? And once it's a diary, this is an, another one that I'll show you. This is from a trip we did um, to Disneyland, went to uh, Vegas first actually. So Amy was 18 months and Christy wasn't even born. So um, I, I assume that drawing is um, courtesy of Amy. <laughs> so, so yeah, so again, I start to plan things. I've got a flight in there. 
and then um, I hope you can see all this. So they have got different places that we want to visit in Vegas. Just little notes when they're opening prices. More drawings courtesy of Amy. Um, so there's all the different resorts on the strip and what we want to do at them. Not this is not a detail. This is just any notes, anything. I think yeah, that sounds good. Like the Titanic experience, but we never went to that in the end. But I had that there. Um, timing of shows, things like that. So just places you want to eat, and then. What I had started to do, now I've got my blog, I wouldn't do this, but there's the change point information. And then what I used to do is actually used to use this as a trip diary. So that was the, the trip planning thing would turn into a trip diary. At the back, it looks like I've started to make some more detailed day-to-day -day plans. And that's what I have now transferred to doing online. So when I get to that stage of the planning now, I'm opening up... Um, Evernote or a document folder and um, sort of doing a day by day thing so um, and then I'll put that into Dropbox so I can access it wherever if we need to plus I would always have a printout as well but back in this day we didn't actually have the internet we probably Kevin probably did but I wouldn't have had a laptop or anything like that so it was all done like this so um, yeah so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how to use a notebook I really think that's essential planning because you see I've been doing notebooks for a long time <laughs> um, yes and so with this one as I said any documents you want to print or anything that you printed out so I'll show you what I've got in this one so I've got some initial um, times of opening and closing of parks these will, you know, these will go back to 2010 so at the time I couldn't get 2012 so I was just sort of getting an idea of um, Historically, what time park places had been open. I've got some shore excursion here printouts for the crews that we're considering doing so that Kevin can have a read through them. I've got my initial plans and drafts. I started doing this, and as you can see, there's, these are double sided. So I had a few of the, oh gosh, I've got pages of these, um, and then I decided I would do, do it. All. I actually opened up Google Calendar and just started putting it in there. So, because um, basically all I had split up when I do a Disney trip, when normal, most trips would just be a day by day, but Disney trips would split up to sort of morning, uh, afternoon, which would include lunch, and then the evening, which would include dinner. So I can easily do that. Um, so it's just do blocks of where we're going. And then I, I'm going to talk about Disney one later, but then I'll have more detailed planning. So I've got a bit of the paper, but even initially, while well, I start to sort of formulate from where to where I'm going to go different days, Paper's probably a bit easier, but um, once you start to sort of think, yep, that, definitely doing that, then I can put it on online, and then I can make little changes from there. So I've got our dining reservations printed out, all our confirmation numbers. What else have I got in here? Um, sort of wait times for things. Again, these are times of shows. And this is something that shouldn't be in there. <laughs> So, so that's basically anything like that. As you, might, as you can see, the plane tickets actually aren't in here. They're printed out somewhere in my desk, so they should be in this folder to keep everything together. And then what I do um, is take this whole folder, well, I'll empty out all that paperwork, pop in any, any documentation like the plane tickets that we're going to need, and take this folder because it's very slim. And then brochures and what that we pick up, anything I want to keep from the trip, I can pop in here and then it transports it back home quite safely. So, and then my UK one, I've just sort of left everything in it. So that's, that's that. Yep, so that's it. My two planning, organising, for travel essentials. Very simple really, but as I say, we're doing a lot of, I think most of us do a lot of reading and planning and research online so you need a, a sort of way to keep track of all that obviously if you're I also I do also use Evernote too so if I find a website with you know a tool that sounds good I can just Evernote it as well and then later on I can decide yep we're going to do that and I can print out the relevant information or write up the relevant information so um, something like Evernote is another good way to keep things you could also pin them you could use a uh, Pinterest board to do that as well these days um, yeah, that's basically it. 
um, if you've got any questions about anything, please let me know. Or if you've got any tips that you use for um, planning um, for your travels, please let me know. I'd love to hear any little tips and trick, trick, any little tips and tricks. <laughs> are always appreciated. And I will try and put together a specific planning for Disney World trip sometime before we go. Not quite sure when that will happen. Um, probably more when I get my plans, our own plans finalised so I can show you the whole process that I go through. So that's it. There's a sleeping Rosie there. I don't know if you can see Bailey. He's right behind me. Let's see if we can see Bailey. There's Bailey. Having their afternoon snooze. I'm off to work in the spare room. I'll catch you all later on.